So guys, we are going to continue with a brand new chapter. So we are going to discuss about acid base and solubility equilibria. So in this chapter, we are going to introduce Arrhenius, Bronsted, Lowry and Lewis theories of acid base. We are also going to learn about dissociation constant, Ka, Kb, Kw, what is the pH, pOH, pKa, pKb and pKw. Titration indicator as an acid base, buffer solution and finally heterogeneous equilibria of ions, KSB and common ion effects. Okay, okay. now let's have a look at the Arrhenius, Bronsted, Lowry and Lewis theories. So uh, during your O-level uh, or SPM levels, you were all exposed by the basic definitions of acid base where acid is defined as a substance that dissociate hydrogen ion whereas a base is dissociate hydroxide ion. Now this concept introduced by Arrhenius, hence it's actually also known as Arrhenius definitions of acid base. So generally, acid base, can, uh, acid base theory can be explained by using three different theories. Uh, from the one that I've introduced just now, which is Arrhenius acid base theory, you can also have Bronsted Lowry acid base theory and also Lewis acid base theory. So, table below summarizes what are the differences of this theory based on each of the uh, explanation here. So, uh, Arrhenius acid says that it's a substance that produces hydrogen ion, while Arrhenius base is a substance that produces hydroxide ions. Now, in terms of Bronsted Lowry acid base theory, a Bronsted Lowry acid is a substance that donates proton, whereas the bronsted lowry base is a substance that accepts proton. Lewis base acid is a substance that accepts lone pair electrons, while Lewis base is a substance that donates lone pair electrons. So Arrhenius theory, uh, in Arrhenius acid base definitions, uh, best definitions, so acid and base are defined below. So an acid is a substance that have a H in its formula and dissociate in water to yield hydroxonium ion, H3O+, whereas a base is a substance that contains OH in its formula and dissociate OH- to, uh, dissociate in water to yield OH-. Some typical Arrhenius acid are HCl, HNO3, HCN, whereas some typical base are NaOH, HKOH, BOH2. Uh, although Arrhenius base constantly dis contain discrete OH- ion in their structure, Arrhenius acid never contain discrete H+. On the contrary, this acid contain covalently bonded H atoms that are ionized when molecules are dissolved in water. However, there are a few weakness in Arrhenius theory, especially involving bases. For example, when ammonia is dissolved in base, it can give off hydroxide ion and also ammonium ion. However, due, it is not due to the presence of the NH4OH as there are no proof as the existence of NH4OH through spectroscopy analysis. Therefore, another theory was introduced for this. So bronsted lowry acid base theory. So earlier we noted the major problem of Arrhenius acid base theory is many substances that yield OH- ion when dissolved water do not contain OH- in their formula. So bronsted lowry acid base theory provides a better explanation of acid and base using the proton donor and acceptor concept. Whereas a low bronsted lowry acid is a proton donor. So any species that contain a proton a proton in it, which is H+, for example, HNO3, H2PO4-, are two examples of acid uh, bronsted lowry acids. So basically, all Arrhenius acids are bronsted lowry acid. So a base is a proton acceptor as any species that accepted the hydrogen ions. So a base must contain a lone pair electrons to, to bind with the H plus ion. For example, ammonia, carbonates, fluoride, as well as the hydroxide ion itself can also act as a bronsted lowry base. So however, a bronsted lowry base are not Arrhenius bases, but all Arrhenius bases contain bronsted lowry base. So extensions of bronsted lowry acid base theory is defined as the conjugate acid base pair, which is can be defined as, as, as an acid and its conjugate base or a base and its conjugate acids. The conjugate base of a bronsted lowry acid is the species that remain when one more proton one proton has been removed from the acid, and conversely, a conjugate acid result from the additions of a proton to the bronsted lowry base. So, for example, in here if we have HBr react with water to give Br minus and H3O plus, so the H plus from the HBr is donated to water. So therefore, a HBr is a bronsted lowry acid which acts as a proton donor. H2O acts as a proton acceptor. Therefore, a base. So after donating the H plus, you have Br minus. So a bronze, the bronsted lowry acid will eventually become what we so call as conjugate base. And after proton, uh, water accepted proton, it becomes H3O plus. So the H3O plus form is called as the conjugate acid. 
Another example is HSO4 minus plus H2O. So in, as you can see in here, it is the H that is donated to the water. So therefore, HSO4 minus act as a bronze lowry acid, which is a proton donor, while water in here act as a bronze lowry base, which is a proton acceptor. Now upon donating the proton, you become SO4 2 minus. So SO4 2 minus is to say a conjugate base. Whereas H2O after accept proton become H2O plus, so therefore H2O plus is a conjugate acid. Another example is ammonia and water. So unlike the case just now, uh, water is now that donates the protons to the ammonia. So because water is the proton donor, so therefore it acts as a bronze lowry acid, while ammonia is a proton acceptor, therefore bronze lowry base. Upon donating proton, water will form hydroxide ions, therefore a conjugate base, whereas as upon accept proton, ammonia will become ammonium ion, therefore a conjugate acid. Finally, if you have CO3 2 minus plus H2O, give OH minus plus H3O minus. So again, water here act as a proton donor. So when water here act as a proton donor, you act as a bronze lowry base, where CO3 2 minus act as a bronze lowry, uh, sorry. H2O here will act as a bronze lowry acid, where CO3 2 minus here will act as a bronze lowry base. So upon donating the proton, uh, OH- is remained, therefore is called as a conjugate base, whereas HCO3- is called as a conjugate acid. The next theory that we are going to introduce is Lewis acid base theory. So different from the bronze lowry acid base theory, which makes use of proton as definition, Lewis theory of acid base makes use of the lone pair electron. So therefore, Lewis acid is an elicitosis that accepts electron pair, whereas Lewis base is a substance that donates electron pair. So the advantages of the Lewis acid base theory over bronze lowry acid uh, base uh, the acid base theory is that they can use to explain the role as an acid for substances that con does not contain H plus in it, for example, Cu2 plus, Al3 plus. So now we are going to making use of the Lewis uh, angles to see how does uh, acid base theory is explained. So for example, if hydrochloric acid react with water, so in here, water which donates the lone pair electrons to the hydrogen, therefore it acts as a lone pair electron donor. Therefore, water in this case is a Lewis base, whereas HCl accept the lone pair electron, therefore you act as a Lewis acid. So the product in here does not count as a conjugate acid base pair, because in here we are just to deduce which one is a lone pair electron donor, which one is a lone pair electron acceptor. We can also use to uh, use for ammonia to explain this phenomenon. So from the angles of Lewis acid base, so nitro uh, ammon nitrogen which have a lone pair electron in ammonia will donate the electron pair to the hydrogen ion to form the hydro uh, ammonium ion. So therefore, ammonia here act as a Lewis base, whereas hydrogen ion here act as a Lewis acid. However, bronze lowry acid cannot be used to explain the following reactions. First reaction is the reaction between ammonia and boron trifluoride. So ammonia having the lone pair electrons are able to donate to boron trifluoride. So here, ammonia here act as a Lewis base, while BF3 here act as a Lewis acid. So note that ammonia donate the electron pair to boron, hence an acid base reaction is established. So the hybridization in BF3 changes from sp2 to become sp3. So reaction of work between boric acid. So this is the structure of a boric acid. So in here, our water act as a Lewis base by donating an electron pair to the boric acid, which act as a Lewis acid. So when electron pair is donated, okay, so uh, boric acid will become BOH4 minus, leaving a H plus in here. So therefore, water act as a base. Boric acid act as a Lewis acid by donating an electron pair. So note that in here, um, boric acid does not act as an acid because it donates proton. Instead, it is accepting electron pair that makes it to become acid. Last but not least is the reaction between copper 2 ion and ammonia, or as chromium. So when copper accepted lone pair electron from chromium, uh, ammonia to form a complex of uh, tetra uh, tetraamine copper 2 ion. So this formation of complex is also is described as an acid base reaction. Okay, so uh, here uh, copper 2 plus here act as a Lewis acid, which is a lone pair electron acceptor, or ammonia here act as a Lewis base, lone pair electron acceptor. Same goes with chromium, this is a Lewis acid, and also this is a Lewis base. 
So here are more examples of identifying Lewis acid in this space. So the, one of the key that uh, what happens when you accept a lone pair electron is you see after accepting the electron pair you become a negative ion so from here we can see that you have accepted something negative that's why you become negative so in this case LCl3 here will act as a Lewis acid while Cl2 here will act as a Lewis base so for another example SO3 plus CaO so you form Ca2 plus and SO4 to minus from SO3 to become SO4 to minus indicating that oxygen from the CaO has been donated to the SO3 therefore SO3 act as a lone pair electron acceptor which is a Lewis acid CaO act as a lone pair electron donor which is a Lewis base in the case of AlOH3 plus H2O to give LOH4 minus plus H plus, so similar to the boric acid case, where AlOH3 here accept the lone pair electron from the, uh, from the water to form AlOH4 minus, so therefore AlOH3 acts as a Lewis acid, while water in here acts as a Lewis base. CHCO3 minus plus FeCl3, so it is after that Cl donates the electron pair to the Fe to form CH3CO plus and FeCl4 minus. So CH3COCl is the Lewis base, FeCl3 is the Lewis acid. Another example is CH3CO- plus 2HF. So upon donating the electron pair to the fluorine, uh, to the hydrogen, so we become a Lewis base, while HF here acts as a Lewis acid. Finally, Fe3 plus and 6Cn- Fe3 plus is a Lewis acid, Cn- is a Lewis base. So that I have for you the first part of basic acid-base theory definitions. So we are going to continue later. See ya.